Hello traders. Welcome back to a brand new video on the Bazo FX trading. So guys, if you're a beginner trader, make sure to watch this video from the start to the end because I'm going to be showing you a very simple entry strategy that you can use and be able to make money from the Forex market, guys. So let's get started. So traders, what you're currently seeing right now, this is AUD USD. So the first things I'm going to explain to you traders, whenever you're in the forex market traders, you need to look at places where everyone is putting their stop loss. And that's why you're going to always put your entry. So let me explain. So this is the AUD trade guys, as you can see, I missed out on this trade. I'll show you why. So price was currently floating around this resistance zone right here. This is my resistance zone right here. So price had currently broken out just here this part right here you can see it had given us this blue candle right here and then this blue candle when it broke out here is just to take out people's liquidity you know this is liquidity grab right here you know so and most of you guys you know me anytime when i see price break out i need to wait for this other candle this other candle has to either also close from outside but you can see price came back inside this green line you see so meaning price had not yet reached a time of going back up because obviously everyone is expecting price to go up. Reason why, when I zoom out, you can see price is supposed to shoot back up, up at least up to this zone up here. So now me, my main point was I had to look at a place where everyone is putting their there. Uh, everyone is putting their stop loss, as you can see. So everyone, when everyone is buying, their stop loss, they're putting it around here. So I decided I'm going to take my entry exactly here where I've sunk on. You see? So everyone when they took their trade up here price did what it came back down it took out their liquidity you see so meaning price started coming back down price had not reached the time of starting to shoot back up so price started coming back down as you can see it didn't really come back down because here it was still floating here so meaning meaning uh, price was still playing a mind game so this is why you need to have a lot of patience when you're trading in the forex market but, but if you have been in the markets for quite a period of time, you know price to, had, has to come back to your zone. So the zone where everyone was putting their stop loss is this part right here. So reason why I said this part right here, again, you can see price found support here, found support here. So I said it also me, I'm going to find my entry right here. You can literally see that is the same zone price touched and showed back up, guys. Literally, that is the same zone price touched and went back up. Let me show you a screenshot of the picture that I, I took a screenshot of. I took a screenshot of this same picture. Mm, let's see. I think I didn't take it. I had taken a screen, guys, I had taken a screenshot before price started coming back down here. So meaning price came back down here and started going back up. Right now, when you, we, are, we are to measure, currently price is up let's see price is currently up from here to up here price is currently up 20 pips guys and most of you know the the effect of 20 pips that is a lot guys if i'm to use my 10 lot size 20 times uh, uh 100 dollars that is already two thousand dollars with just this small move from here to there that is the power of 20 pips you know and guess what i was only risking seven pips you can see so meaning if I was losing seven times was what? Time was a, uh, t seven times was a hundred dollars, meaning I would have lost all the seven hundred dollars to make two thousand and something. Literally, even my take profit had not yet been hit. My take profit is around here, meaning which which is like around 30 pips. You see traders. The reason why I'm making this video, guys, I missed this trade. I didn't take it. Reason why? When the time when this trade opened and we had this much volatility this this was during the new york session and most of the time during the new york session i'm always in the gym you know and i don't like to look at my phone you know so this this is what you need to do traders whenever you're trading and you're a beginner trader and in your concrete price will come back to a certain zone make sure to use limit orders so if i had used a limit order here which is a buy limit right now i'd be in profits price would have touched my zone and then start going back up here you don't need to even look into the smaller time frames to confirm anything you know literally this is a support zone you can see support support meaning support can be broken as long as you know that price is supposed to go 
the other way round just like this you can see when i zoom out you can see price is supposed to go up here we have imbalance in here that has to be filled you see traders we have another imbalance here that has to be filled that's just why i think the AUD USD trade had to go back up you understand so meaning everyone who, who took their trade up here they hurried to take their trade guys and i've already made a video why most of the traders lose money whenever they have other entries i made a video guys price can just touch one two times and then you think price is just going to go up you know price only does that if this is a double bottom if this is a double bottom meaning the neckline would be here so price breaks it and then goes back up but if you see price break come back down and then starts coming back down. like you know this is not yet a break it's not time for for us to see a reversal you can see traders but now here you can already see we have an hour reversal you can see price has given us this now this you can see this you see so now prices structures are, tr are trying to change into a form of where price is giving us higher highs and higher lows reason why you can see price here it didn't really come up to down here this is just a weak rejection you know you can see so now price has to give us another impulsive move you see traders i missed out on this entry but i'm going to take my other trade when price breaks again this neckline and i start seeing much volume you know but this would be a very very sweet trade to take traders so the reason i made this video is for for me to give you a device on your entry traders every time i have used an entry strategy i've made money in the forex market i have made money i've never missed out on the trade even any time when i'm using a limit order you understand if you don't use a limit order you're going to be worried every time you're going to check your phone check your phone every time you can see traders literally you see how price moved i had, i drew all these things in the morning you see so price has to shoot up you know so i'm going to be patient and i, I wait for price to come back here if i see momentum if any kind of that breaks from out here and then close from and any kind of that breaks this zone here and it closes from outside i'm going to take my trade you can see here there is no color that has broken and closed from outside all these candles this one look here traders so you can see traders this candle breaks out from outside comes back and close from inside same thing you see same thing no candle close from outside meaning we had all fake outs or what uh, ict people can say liquidity sweep so here they've been sweeping liquidity you see but traders you need to know the best time to trade you know literally this was during the new york session this part right here this is you see so me i like to trade in the new york session but the strategy i like to use for my entries limit orders they're unbeatable traders unbeatable so you can see so now we are going to wait for our trade to shoot up you see but i'm taking my entry just here guys and my take profit will be here my first take profit would be exactly like the green line if i take my trade from down here and then my other take profit would be up here the reason why I'm, I'm looking for buys reason why you also look at uh, the dxy to see what what is the dxy telling us so traders this is the dxy you can even see it's almost the opposite of what we have on the aud usd price was at this resistance zone you can see you see so meaning when price came here in the morning everyone thought price is going to just drop because you have seen this double top but again surprisingly price goes back close from inside even the other candles that tried breaking from outside they go go back and close from inside literally you see you see here we have to the bottoms these ones right here so literally anyone would have taken their trade and made money when price was shooting back up here you see now here again you would use your limit orders limit order put your your limit order the price you see it would have dropped though price for this one it hasn't dropped really much like what we have on the other AUD USD trade but again you can literally just use the same concept you see so when i'm monitoring the AUD USD which AUD is against the dollar i have to look at the DXY because it shows the moment the movement of the dollar so now if i zoom out like this you can you can see why we think the dollar will fall a little bit you know so i think dollar will fall up to this zone right here where there's liquidity here see traders so traders lastly i'm going to show you how we set limit orders so this is my mt4 as you can see traders. so when i want to place a limit order so since i was trading aud usd i'm going to add here aud usd like this so then i'm going to come here top hit select its chart so now as you can see traders here it's even more clear where i had supposed to take my trade so this is where i was supposed to take my trade down here so i'm going to draw here a line just like this you can see this part right here uh-huh so this was my zone here where i want to take my trade so now you're going to copy this yellow number that you see there there is 0 0.63 
637 as you can see so when you select that number you when you copy it right down you're going to come here and tap trade right here when you tap trade you're going to tap here market execution and tap market execution then you're going to tap buy limit then you write the number here so it was 63634 and then you also put your take profit and stop loss and then you say plus you can see now we will remove this number right here you can see down there our limit order is there which is our buy limit meaning price is going to come drop tap your limit order and shoot back up you see traders so for those that know the value of pips Make sure to put plus that your lot size. Literally, we are only risking seven pips on this, and you can see price didn't even go beyond this. You see, it just started going back up as you can see, traders. Reason why I've, 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 I've told you again, price respected this zone right here, which is our support zone. You can see. So this is how you set your limit order. If it's a sell limit, it's the opposite, traders. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next piece.